you will be able to um, uh, make uh, may, uh, enter values into your application or output some kind of result into the uh, end user and, and things like that uh, okay, we will have a simple example let's go to the button right here and drag that and drop it on the phone okay you see now uh, you have just made some kind of a button and you can change its size uh, now since we are selecting the button uh, you can come right here in the properties window and see that now it's displaying the button properties and from the text uh, you can see here it is we will change it uh, to press me press enter on that and let's go back to our design and see how it looks like so now you have just defined your window and you have just find the button within that window okay what we will anyway uh, change its size a little bit um, something like that okay uh, right. okay uh, since we have just created this simple application although we didn't put any code into it we can run that this application quite easily uh, you can just select this run button or press a five and uh, see your uh, program being executed so you press the play button or the drum button and this is your program running uh, this is it so you can see that it behaves exactly like any other windows application uh, you can change uh, drag and drop your window you can change its full screen uh, okay and restore it uh, you can and you make come back to its original uh, status um, and the press free button actually doesn't do anything because we didn't tell the application what should it do okay so now uh, we can either stop the application by pressing the stop button or uh, pressing the X um, we, let's try the stop button okay and we come back to the uh, IDE again okay right now in the workspace we will just uh, uh, go to the press me and do a double click on that what does that do is open the code editor so now we will be able to tell the computer what should it do or tell your application what should it do when that press me button is clicked uh, don't worry about the code right now we are just trying to understand the IDE so you just add the uh, add the code and okay uh, what you see while you are typing you can see this window pops up uh, this window allows you to uh, write code quickly and uh, avoid the uh, typing mistake and stuff like that so uh, right now uh, we will give the command and which tells the, the application to end itself so when you press the button on that window uh, the it, uh, your application will stop execution so uh, we, we will run the program again okay and since this is a program we will just press uh, a click on the press me and you see that it, your program just closed so uh, the idea uh, what I want to, to show you right here is that uh, this same workspace window we were able to write code as we as we have seen here we were able to design our user interface and we were uh, we were able to see the properties of our application okay so uh, this is how uh, what you can do with the workspace there are a few other things we will see later but this is the basic thing that you should know uh, and uh, one important thing we forgot to do all this way is to save our work we haven't said anything up to now so you, you go and select save or save all uh, actually save all is much better 
so uh, right now we will change this into tmp slash db dot net and slash ts001 and we will select save okay now after we have just saved our application uh, we can we can come back to it later on <clears throat> so uh, now we will make a very quick uh, rehearsing for what we have uh, done uh, up to now we have seen that uh, uh, we have understood what the workspace is which is the middle part of the screen we have seen the um, solution explorer uh, we, we can navigate uh, between our windows uh, we have seen the properties window how it allows us to change our user interface and we have seen the toolbox windows uh, and understood just a very simple thing about it. it it provides actually a very rich set of controls and uh, right now we have just worked with one control which is the command uh, button okay and of course the toolbar although we didn't speak about it 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 had the same main functions like saving files all files i don't think you need to understand much about it okay so this uh, concludes our very first tutorial which is understanding the uh, graphical user interface so uh, please uh, everyone if uh, if you have any notes about uh, this tutorial, how to make it better, what you like, what you don't like about it, uh, I would appreciate if you send me emails. Uh, okay, and please uh, visit uh, my uh, website, which is www.mkasoft.com. Uh, you you can send me emails there, and you can uh, find. Uh, uh, this uh, video and a number of uh, other things so have a nice day and enjoy working with Vivi okay bye bye